Despite steady winds and a possibility of rain, the Forest Park balloon glow took place on September 16th. While rain or wind over 5 miles per hour would have canceled the event, the glow continued at 7 p.m. and was only forced to end 20 minutes early. It gets a little crazy. <laughs> we're from a smaller town and we're not used to having this many people wander in among the balloons, so it can be dangerous if it's windy. Despite the weather, more than a thousand spectators showed up for the event, which included a variety of booths and activities, a fireworks display, and lighted balloons. All the balloons here at the Great Forest Park Balloon Race will set up, and after it's dark, they'll use their burners to make the balloons kind of look like luminaries, and they'll all glow from the inside, and they look like lit up party light bulbs. It's really pretty. While the glow is a favorite of the public, it is not as enjoyable for the pilots. They're not so much the favorite for pilots because the pilots would rather actually fly, but, but they are fun. And it's, it's quite a sight, if it is, especially for people that have never seen it, you know. It, it's pretty neat to see these giant, it's just like giant uh, uh, Chinese lanterns, you know. It's, it's pretty cool. More than 60 pilots participated in the glow. Many of these pilots also participated in the Great Forest Park balloon race, which took place the next day. With the race, it's a very short period of time. The balloons set up and they leave, so they're gone. And there's nothing for the people to see. But for the glow, it lasts well over an hour. Plus, they have the fireworks, so it's, people can come out and enjoy it for a lot longer. It is, it's a beautiful thing where everybody loves to see it. And it is the biggest turnout of any balloon glow we've ever been to, the St. Louis balloon glow. It's unbelievable number of people that come and just can wander amongst the balloons. It's, it's really unique. 